A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. today and uh, yeah I'm gonna show you everything I eat as a vegan on this lovely summer's day here in Malmö, Sweden and as you saw I've already eaten my breakfast because I had to sort of get up and go this morning so I had my go-to summer breakfast which is overnight oats and I like to do it with lemon and cardamom at the moment I'll leave my recipe down below if you want to try it and uh, then I actually headed off to have my first jab I am now in the vaccination club I've started. It's my first dose and it feels so good. I'm really happy about it. A few of you um, had been asking me what's my take on the vaccine and I don't know. I just think it's uh, the best thing we can do as a society is to get vaccinated to protect each other and ourselves. And uh, yeah. I have more opinions on the fact that it's not like spreading across the whole globe uh, than on the vaccine itself. Either way, I have now started. I feel really good. I'm happy. But yeah, I might have a sore arm and even flu symptoms, they said. So we'll see by the end of the day if I'm uh, as cheery as I am now. Um, but yeah, I've come back home and I'm just going to have a snack in a minute. But before I make the snack, I just want to thank Squarespace again for sponsoring this video and telling you a little bit about them. So Squarespace is an all-in-one website builder which enables users to create a beautiful space to grow their projects and business. I've been using it to create my food photography portfolio and what I really like about it is that it's very easy and intuitive to use. You really don't need any special skills to create a really good site. There are site themes and even color profiles and font combinations that make it really easy for you to use. And while I've used it to make my portfolio, it has many uses for different areas of expertise. I know a lot of bloggers like Squarespace as they have tools that allow you to auto post your content to other platforms like Facebook and Tumblr, as well as get an overview of your audience and a good handle on SEO. It's also very easy to connect your social media accounts to your site so that visitors can find you everywhere. So if you're thinking about creating a website, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch your site, go to squarespace.com forward slash good eatings for 10% off your first domain or website. Uh, but now I think we should continue on with the day and make a snack. I'm just going to make a really simple snack with rice crackers. So let's go do it. <laughs>
so I'm back in the kitchen. It's about lunchtime. I'm going to make something. I'm not super hungry because I had that snack not too long ago. So I think I'm just gonna make a salad and I've got some leftover quinoa back here. So I think I'm just gonna make a salad with that and whatever veg I have in my fridge. And also we've been propagating some basil plants this spring and summer. So I have quite a bit of it and I thought I'd try and make some sort of basil dressing, maybe with tahini and lemon, but it will all become clear in a minute. And uh, that's it. Let's make some lunch. I'm back in the kitchen and the weather seems to have taken a turn for the worse. I think it's gonna rain any second, but uh, that doesn't stop us. We're still gonna make a yummy and summery dinner. And I thought I'd make some tacos with tempeh. I've already marinated some tempeh and I'm using a Swedish tempeh with um, yellow peas. I think you say that in English. Uh, they're grown here in Sweden, so I think this brand is really cool. It's called Etabetta if you're in Sweden and you want to try it. And I've just marinated it in some soy sauce, a little bit of maple syrup, and some spices like chili flakes and garlic. And I think it's going to be super yummy. I'm going to fry that in a pan. And then I'm also going to make like a little salad or salsa with strawberry and serve it on some corn tortillas. Super simple, but really yummy for summer, even though the sun might not be shining. I thought we might eat outside in our um, shared garden, but I guess that's, um, we're going to have to keep that for another day. Also a little update on how I'm feeling uh, due to the jab I had. I'm a little bit tired. I don't know if it shows but otherwise I feel perfectly fine which is nice and I'm excited to make some dinner so let's do it Okay, so normally we film our cooking in natural light, but it's gone full on storm outside, so it's pretty dark. So I think we're gonna have to light this so you can actually see what we're making. <laughs>
before I finish off my tacos, I want to round off this video, but I have to tell you that I think these are some of the best tacos I've ever made. So um, definitely try to recreate them if you like tacos. I'll try and put a rough estimate recipe in the description box. Uh, but the avocado crema that I made, uh, I have a recipe for on my website. So I'll link that. It's in another taco recipe uh, that I made in a previous video. And uh, yeah, it's a good combo. I look forward to finishing the rest of it with Rob. I thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed making it. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, but now it's come to an end and I will say goodbye. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.